Hola amigos, Christopher here and I'm back with a very special video. Yeah. Okay, so I was doing a little bit of online reading and I came across a recent article that had an interview from Stephen Moffat. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not absolutely sure. I've got, I mean, I, ahead of me this year I've got 14 Doctor Who's and 3 Sherlock films. So, um, the last thing I'm doing is contemplating work beyond that. But, you know, the day's coming. Wait a second, whoa, whoa, whoa. A normal season of Doctor Who only has like 13. There's an extra episode of Doctor Who. But then it got me thinking. We know that at the end of this year we're going to get a Christmas special and then next year we're going to get a full season. So I'm like, well, that's 13 episodes. Where's the extra one? The extra one is probably next year's Christmas special. And then I started to think a little bit more. That would mean that uh, the Christmas special 2017 would in fact be Stephen Moffat's last one instead of the series 10 finale like a lot of us thought. So he will be leaving in a similar style to what uh, Russell T Davis did when he left in the Christmas slash New Year's Day special. But then that got me thinking even more. What if Capaldi decides to leave when Moffat leaves at the end of the Christmas special? That sounded weird, I didn't mean like at the, at the end of the episode with like Moffat and Capaldi holding hands running off into the distance. I'm talking about what if Capaldi decides that his time is up when 2017 comes and he decides that the Christmas special will in fact be his regeneration episode. Because let's think about it, David Tennant stayed on for three series, regenerated the Christmas special, uh, Matt Smith stayed on for three series, regenerated the Christmas special. So Capaldi could very well do the same. Uh, once season 10's done, that'll be his third series and then we just have one more Christmas special. And then that got me thinking, I don't I don't think I'm ready for Capaldi to leave. I feel like he just got here. I feel like I did my review for Deep Breath like five minutes ago. I mean, sure, by the time season 10 finishes, we will have had him for quite some time. But like right now, I'm feeling like it's, it's just too early to be thinking about Capaldi leaving. Like, um, he's brought so much to the role and I don't know if I'm ready to let him go. That sounded far too cheesy. I'm just I'm just a big fan of Capaldi, okay? But you see, the thing is, if Capaldi doesn't leave, it will be incredibly interesting to see how the new showrunner, uh, Chris Chibnall, uh, writes his Doctor. Because in most of his scripts, like uh, 42 and Cold Blood, Hungry Earth, he's very character-driven with their motivations and stuff, and he's making it very gritty and dark, like Capaldi's Doctor. And, um, and in Broadchurch, uh, that show is very dark and uh, character-driven. So it'll be interesting to see you know, what Chibnall would do with Capaldi's Doctor. However, as I've said in this video here, I think it would be kind of good in a way if uh, Capaldi did regenerate at Christmas because that would give Chris Chibnall a new Doctor to work with, uh, a blank slate as it were. So I'm pretty torn on what I want. Like I want Capaldi to stay and I want Chris Chibnall to have a fresh start. So. It's, it's just, it's just too much. It's just too much. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Uh, those are just my thoughts and I thought I'd better make a video uh, expressing my opinion and I just wanted to see what you guys think. So, please let me know in the comments below. Do you want Capaldi to stay? Do you want Chris Chibnall to have a fresh start? Please let me know in the comments below. Uh, please like this video. Please subscribe and stick around to the end of this video for a very special treat. Allons-y! Hello. I'm the Doctor. And you should subscribe to Crispy right now. Do it. What's the harm? Just click subscribe. It's easy. It's simple. Thank you.